Over 3,500 extensively researched questions. Participation from over 450 schools spanning a seven-year legacy. Now that's the journey we have traversed over the last seven seasons of UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest. Well, hello and welcome as I, Mohan Kapoor, once again take on the mantle of Quizmaster on yet another exciting edition in this eighth season of the Skyline University Star Quiz Challenge, powered by Himalaya. Now, as we begin our quest to find the sharpest quizzing team from across the UAE for this year, come, let's meet the first three teams who have made it through the grueling on-ground eliminations. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, Come, let's meet my Team A for today, which is Delhi Private School, Dubai, being represented by... Please, give us your introductions. Hi, my name is Kaushik Murugan from Grade 10 of DPS Dubai. My name is Christopher Kumban of Grade 10 of DPS Dubai. Okay, welcome aboard. Tell us, are you all regular quizzers? Um, yeah. Yeah? And are you all a pair that quiz together often? Uh, no. no. No? This is the first time yeah. that um, we you got paired together. Yeah. So your strengths and weaknesses, you all are going to balance that out? Yeah. yeah. Well, wish you all the very best. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Team B, the all-girls team, Raffles World Academy Dubai, being represented by... Hi, my name is Ishanvi and I'm in Grade 8. And you are? Hello, my name is Lara. I'm in Grade 8 in Raffles World Academy. Welcome aboard, girls. So tell me, are you all regular quizzers? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. What are your weak areas in the quiz arena? It would be sport. Sport? Yes. Oh, okay. And how do you plan to circumvent that? Mostly we hope to avoid the questions. <laughs> okay, wish you all the very best. Ladies and gentlemen, Team C, Bright Rider School, Abu Dhabi. Welcome, boys. Please give us your introductions. Hi, I'm Rohan. I'm in Grade 8, Bright Rider School. Okay. Hi, I'm Aditya. I'm in Grade 10 of Bright Rider School. Welcome, boys. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming here on the 8th edition UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest. Yes, this is Skyline University Star Quiz Challenge 2018, powered by Himalaya. Ladies and gentlemen, people are like rivers. Everyone has their own pace. Some walk steadily, some meandering with hardly any visible movement, and some that surge over like the rapids. Come, let's see which one of our three teams surge ahead in our first round, which is Rapid Fire, brought to you by Tarbar Herbal Toothpaste. Six questions will be asked to each team. No negative points for a wrong answer. Each correct answer carries five points. If a team answers all six questions correctly within the given 45 seconds, then they will get 10 extra points. A team can pass a question and we'll come back to it if time permits. Are those rules clear? So Delhi Private School Dubai, eighth season is kicking off with you. Rapid fire, 45 seconds. Your question one. What colour covers the largest area on the United Nations flag? White. Incorrect. Question two. The largest eagle, called the Marshall Eagle, is from which continent? Europe or Africa? Africa. Africa is correct. Question three. What was the result of the first ever test match played at the Sheikh Zayed Stadium in Abu Dhabi? Pass. Pakistan. No, pass, pass. Pass. Question four. Which gas is present in the largest volume in the atmosphere of Mars? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. That is correct. Question five. What is the main ingredient of the dish hash browns? Potatoes. Correct. Question six. Which fictional detective is famously associated with the deer stalker hat? Sherlock Holmes. Absolutely correct. Not bad, Team A. Well done. Let's hear it for them. You all can clap for them too. They're worthy opponents, just as you all will be for them. Raffles World Academy Dubai, are you ready for your rapid fire? Six questions, 45 seconds. Your time starts now. What is the official shape of the United Nations flag? Rectangular. Absolutely right. Bubo blackistoni is the largest species of which bird? Parrot or owl? Owl. Owl is absolutely right. Question three. Which team batted first during the first official cr cricket test match? Pass. Question four. Which is the only planet in the solar system named after a woman? Penis. Absolutely right. Question five. Which is the most commonly used cheese in pizza? Mozzarella. Absolutely right. Question six. Which fictional detective loves knitting, gardening and gossiping? Pass. Pass. Okay. Let's come back to question three. Which team batted first during the first official cricket test match? And time's up. Well, not bad, not bad. And Team C, Bright Rider School Abu Dhabi, are you ready for your rapid-fire round? Yes. All the very best. 
45 seconds, your time starts now. Question one. How many olive branches are there on the official United Nations flag? 50. 50 is incorrect. Question two. The smallest bird in the world is a hummingbird or tit? Hummingbird. Hummingbird it is. Well done. Question three. On which date in December does the Boxing Day test match start at the Melbourne Cricket Ground? Uh, 26 December. Absolutely right. Question four. After Earth, which is the second densest planet in the solar system? Venus. Incorrect. Question five. In food, the simplest icing consists of water and which other ingredient? Uh, salt. Incorrect. Question six. Which fictional detective came from the town of River Heights? Bus. Bus. And time's up. Not such a great start for Team C, but I have great hope in you, just as I have in Team A and B. Well done, well done. That was the end of round one. We are going to move into round two, ladies and gentlemen. As Forrest Gump puts it, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But our tenacious three teams certainly know what they're going to get. Six categories and plenty of treats as options. I do hope you pick the right one in our next round, which is categories, brought to you by Skyline University College. The teams will be presented with six subjects. The team with the lowest points will get to choose first. Each team will get to choose one subject and will be asked a question based on that subject. The question will have four options. If the team gets the answer on the first attempt, they get 15 points. On the second attempt, they get 10 points. And on the third attempt, you get five points. Is that fair? Is that clear? Are we ready? So, the team that has scored the lowest at the end of round one is Team C. So Team C, we shall begin with you and then we will move on to Team A and B, okay? All right, Team C, Bright Rider School Abu Dhabi, the six categories that you have got to choose from, one category, here are the six categories. Endangered animals, Tintin, storms, dogs, flowers, and capital cities. Which category do you choose? Uh, capital, capital cities. cities. Capital cities, so be it. Capital cities, your question is, which African country's capital derives its name from the Zulu word for gazelle? The options are Oyala, Bangui, Kigali, or Kampala? And your answer would be? Kampala. Kampala, Kampala it is. Well done, well done. There we go, Team C picking up the pieces from there. Well, Team A, Delhi Private School, Dubai, are you ready? Now, the five categories left for you to choose from, any one category, would be endangered animals, Tintin, storms, dogs, flowers. What do you choose? Uh, Tintin. Tintin, so be it. Your question. In Tintin comics, Marshal Kurvi Tash is the dictator of which country? Sildavia, Borduria, Guy Pajama, or San Theodorus? Sildavia. Sildavia? No, that's incorrect. For 10 points, here are the other options. Borduria, Guy Pajama, San Theodorus. Uh, Burduria. Burduria, well done, that is correct. Was that a guess? Yeah. But a good guess, it gets you your 10 points. Well done, Delhi Private School, Dubai. My team B, Raffles World Academy, Dubai, are you all ready? The categories that are left for you to choose from are endangered animals, storms, dogs, or flowers. Which one would you choose? Endangered animals. Endangered animals, so be it. Name the only country in Asia where the Asiatic cheetah is seen in the wild. Your options are India, Saudi Arabia, Iran, or Mongolia for 20 points. Mongolia? Mongolia is incorrect. You get a second chance. Your options are India, Saudi Arabia, Iran. Where? Iran? Iran it is. Well done, Team B. Well done, well done. Not bad, not bad at all. Well, all three teams have fared pretty well in the second round and I'm sure Forrest Gump would be very happy with the choices that you'll have made. Well, on the other side of this short break, I'm going to give you all the scorecard as it stands for now and where our teams stand as of now. You're watching UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest. This is the Skyline University Star Quiz Challenge 2018.
Welcome back. This is Skyline University Star Quiz Challenge 2018, powered by Himalaya. We have completed two rounds and we have a scorecard as of now. At 25 points, we have Team C, Bright Rider School, Abu Dhabi. Well done. Well done. A weak first round, but a good pickup in the second round. Tied with 30 points are Team A and Team B, Delhi Private School, Dubai and Raffles World Academy. 30 points each. Well done. This contest can still go anywhere with two teams tied and one close on your heels. All the very best to all three teams. Now, our bodies have five senses. Touch, smell, taste, sight and sound. We'll need at least two of these senses for our next round, which is the audiovisual round. Here are the rules. There are three audiovisual questions in this round. All questions are on the buzzer. Once the team hits the buzzer, it qualifies as the principal team to answer the question. For a correct answer, the principal team will get 20 points. But if it fails after hitting the buzzer, they will lose 10 points. The other two teams in this round can hit the buzzer before I, the quiz master, give out or ratify the principal team's answer. That is, to challenge the principal team's answer. If the challenger team gets it right, then they get 10 points. But if they get it wrong, they will get minus 5 points. All right, the rules are clear. Any doubts? None? Team C, are we ready? Yeah. All right, all the very best. Question one, hands on the buzzer, get ready. It's an audio clip that I'm going to play you. Have a listen, and then I will ask you the question. May we have the audio clip, please? All right, you've heard the audio clip. Get ready with your buzzer hands. The question is, identify the music group. Identify the name of the band that you just heard on the audio clip. We're going to have a principal team vying for 20 points with this one. No? Nobody? Moving on. The second clue is a visual clue. Have a look and then await my question regarding the same. May we have the picture clue, please? All right. And the question for this visual clue, get ready with your buzzer hands. Identify this sportsman. Wow. Are you telling me a whole round is going to go without any of you answering? We're going to maintain a status quo of our scorecards. Team A, no. Team B, Team C, oops. All right, moving on to the third clue, which is a visual clue. Have a look and then await the question. Maybe have the pitch clue, please. Now you've seen it. Here's the question. Get ready. What is her name? Raffles World Academy Dubai. What is her name? Sophia. Sophia. Well, let's see. Team A, Team C, would you like to challenge that answer? No. No? All right. Let me tell all of you, especially Raffles World Academy Dubai, you are absolutely right. It is Sophia. That's 20 points in the kitty for the girls. Well done. Well done, girls. Well done. Well, that brings us to the end of the audio-visual round. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle once wrote that the world is full of obvious things which nobody ever observes. But our three teams here will be given enough clues to crack the obvious in our next round, Starkey, brought to you by Fairy. Now, here are the rules. There are three questions in this round directed to each of the teams. If a team to which a question is directed at misses or passes it, the team that hits the buzzer first gets the next chance to answer the question. All questions when answered correctly gets a team 10 points. But when a team hitting the buzzer on the pass gets it wrong, it loses five points. Clear? Team C, are we clear? All right, well done. Now, we will begin with Team A, which is Delhi Private School, Dubai. Your question, which of these pieces is not involved in castling 
in chess. Which of these pieces is not involved in castling in chess? King, Rook or Knight? Knight. 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 Knight is absolutely right. Well done, Team A. Well done. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> Raffles World Academy, Dubai. Girls, are we ready? Okay, your question for Starcade. How many rectangles do you see on this flag? Eight, five or four? Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. Eight. Eight is correct. Well done. Well done. Raffles World Academy, Dubai. Well, Raffles World Academy, the question was directed at you. You got it right. But valiantly, Delhi Private School, Dubai, pressed the buzzer in the hope that they didn't get it and they could hazard a guess. Good on you. Good on you. How are we doing, Team C? Confident? Yeah, quite confident. Quite confident. I want to see a bit of that confidence in your question. For Starcade, your question, Team C, Bright Rider School, Abu Dhabi, is how many legs do you find in eight pairs of dogs without any disability? 64, 32, or 24? How many legs do you find in eight pairs of dogs without any disability? 32. Sorry? 32. That is incorrect. Team A, you have pressed the buzzer. 64. 64. 64. Absolutely right. 64 it is. Well done, Delhi Private School, Dubai. Well, that brings us to the end of Starcade. Well played, well played. Team C, I'm sorry about that round, but you've got an opportunity awaiting you. Let's hope you buck up in that. Well, wonderful round there. Clues cracked and mystery solved by our young sleuths this week. Now, with such palpable excitement in the air, let's take a short break. Once we return, the final round and the victor for this episode of Skyline University Star Quiz Challenge 2018, powered by Himalaya. So be back. Welcome back to the Skyline University Star Quiz Challenge 2018, UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest, powered by Himalaya. Time for scores. Let's have a look who stands where. At second runner-up position, we have Bright Rider School Abu Dhabi with 25 points. No movement from the last time you scored, but I have hope for you in this last round. Keep it up. All the very best. First runner-up position, Delhi Private School Dubai with 50 points. Let's hear it for them. Close on the heels of Team B, which is Raffles World Academy Dubai, the all-girls team with 60 points and in the lead. Well done, girls. Now, in the inspiring words of Hussein Bolt, no matter how far you get ahead of me, I'm gonna catch you. Now, that's the mentality that I go with. Now, let's see. Which one of our three teams catches up with whom as they race towards the finish line in our last round at the buzzer? Now, here are the rules. Six questions will be asked in this round. The teams will have to hit the buzzer to answer the questions. The first team to hit the buzzer gets to answer that question. If a team that hits the buzzer before the question is completed, then I, the quiz master, will stop reading out the question and ask that team to answer. Ten points for a correct answer, but minus five for a wrong answer. Are we clear? All right, team A, team B, team C, get ready. This is it. Team C, this is your chance. You can really surge ahead. Okay. At the buzzer, question one. The comic, Asterix and Son, ends in a feast on board a barge of which queen of Egypt? Team A, Delhi Private School, Cleopatra. Dubai. Sorry? Cleopatra. Is absolutely right. Question two. White ant is the popular name of which pest? White ant is the popular name of which pest? Team C. Termite. Termite is absolutely right. Well done, Team C. Question three. On the earth, how many times does the equinox occur in a year? Team A. Two. Two, twice. Absolutely right. Question four. Minamata disease is caused by severe mercury poisoning. Is that true or false? Team A. True. Absolutely right, Team A. Question five. What material is mostly used to make statues at the Madame Tussauds Museum? Yes, Wax. Team A. Wax. Wax. Wax is correct. Well done. And the sixth, the final question. 
Siachen is a glacier in which mountain range? Karakoram or Shivalik? Yes, Steve. Shivalik. Shivalik is incorrect, and that brings us to the end of the buzzer round. We'll see how happy these people are when we read out the final scores. And the final scores of episode one in season eight of the Skyline University Star Quiz Challenge is as follows. Second runner-up position, my team C, Bright Riders School Abu Dhabi, with a total tally of 30 points. Well played, but lacking in a bit because of your nervousness. I hope to see you all back here again next year. Thank you so much for being part of this show. First runner-up position, Raffles World Academy Dubai with 60 points. Well done, girls. But surging ahead with a fabulous lead and a fabulous final score is my team A, Delhi Private School Dubai with 90 points. Well done, well done, well done, team A. Now, before we end this episode, we have a special treat for all you art and quizzers out there. Please log on to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash star plus for an exclusive question and a chance to win an exciting gift hamper. With that, I, Mohan Kapoor, bid your farewell with a promise to return next week with a fresh batch of UAE's sharpest quizzing minds here on Skyline University Star Quiz Challenge 2018. Powered by Himalaya. <laughs>